What is happening YouTube, NBZ here, and I have come home for the weekend, yeah, which is why I was able to do a couple of battles here. We've got, um, we've got a roulette here against uh, Super Nick 411 so let's get this started off. So yeah, I lead off with a Lapras, and he, uh, he chose this for me, obviously, being a roulette. If you don't know what a roulette is, check out Xerxes' video, I'll post a video response or something, um, but yeah, so uh, he leads off with Clefable. I'm feeling that I'm kind of threatened by it in terms of, you know, it using a status move of some kind. I don't want to be toxic because that will just ruin me. So I go out to Count Chocula, which was a misclick. It was actually a misclick because um, I, I predicted the Thunder Wave over the Toxic um, and I actually wanted not to go to that guy but instead to go to my Gliscor who would have obviously taken the T-Wave because he's not affected by it. Anyway, I decide that this guy is completely useless now. All I can do is really taunt the Clefable and a pretty much a paralyzed Crobat is one of the most useless things that you can have because it relies on its speed so much to do everything which uh, which is basically why I'm just going to leave him in here. Um, he did S-toss me just to do a bit of damage but um, here I'm going to try and nasty plot as he switches and uh, he goes to his Rotom so I'm thinking hmm, he might try and set up on me or he might just want to play and out kill me with Thunderbolt. Either way I don't really care because if he just makes a wrong prediction I get to hit him with a plus two heat wave and uh, he hydro pumps and uh, because I'm on diamond I can't see that he's wash form but obviously I could guess by his name and then Heatwave misses uh, um, the Hydro Pump doesn't kill me obviously because it's fourth gen and Rotom doesn't have stab on Hydro Pump currently but it does hit twice in a row and the fact that he used it twice pretty much tells me that he's choiced in some way so I feel safe going into this guy because um, I can go for the Endeavor and uh, wait a second what did I just say did I go for the Endeavor no Rotom is ghost and we both have well I have a massive retarded play right there thinking I can Endeavor on a Rotom because I have a Focus Sash so I thought Hydro Pump will take me down to my Sash and I can Endeavor but um no because I'm an idiot so I go to Lapras to take the Hydro Pump because uh, it's water type and uh, it's unstabbed from the Rotom and I know he's choice so he can't stay in and Thunderbolt me or anything which is great so I'm just going to stay in here and go for the Confuse Ray because I want to confuse anything that comes in and Confusion is really underrated because it is you know it's very useful when it when it does happen I mean Dynamic Punch is one of the most used uh, moves on Machamp because of its usefulness but um, uh, with Confusion even though it does damage as well Confuse Ray is still useful I don't really care what you say but Confuse Ray is useful I don't want to take the Thunderbolt evidently so I predict a, um, you know, not a Thunderbolt and go to my guy. Apparently Nick predicted the switch and went for something else there, so probably Heat Wave or something, um, but uh, he got hit in Confusion, which kind of blows for him. So I'm sit sitting here with my guy and I'm thinking, do I want to Ice Shard? Do I want to stay in and maybe if I'm slower, endeavor and take him down if he hits me with a Heat Wave? But I, I think it's safest to go for my Rocks, seeing as you get Rocks. If you do get Rocks in Roulette, definitely go for them because it's going to help you a lot. And uh, he hits himself in Confusion anyway. Added to the fact that I discovered I was faster, sh meaning that Endeavor will not work. So I cannot use Endeavor on Zapdos because I'm faster, because I, I will... There. He can't have the chance to hit me down to my Sash, and then I Endeavor, basically, is what I'm trying to say, and then I shard him. So I'm going to switch here. I'm going to go to Lapras, predicting the Heat Wave, and um, he hits himself for a third time in a row, which I just found absolutely hilarious. Um, and that just shows how useful that Confusion was for me there. Just pretty much allowed me to do what I wanted to. So um, he actually doesn't get confused that turn, goes to the Thunderbolt and Lapras, and I'm going to hit him with an Ice Beam here. My Lapras is bulky, so a stabbed um, Thunderbolt isn't going to do that much, and he was like, how the hell did that do so little? I was like, well, you know, it, it's... Lapras is good. So um, I hit him with an unstabbed Ice Beam and it does pretty much the same from like a non-special attacking guy, which is like, wow, that's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm I'm thinking here, maybe he's going to over predict and use another move, but I want to stay in and kind of, you know, hit him with another Ice Beam. But um, instead I decide to stay in and go for a Hydro Pump in case he switched bad move on my part because that move misses so yeah that kind of cost me because otherwise if I just stuck with the safe ice beam his Zapdos would have gone down it would have been dead would not have been a problem for me anymore and now it is which is kind of a nuisance so he goes for the hidden power grass because that's pretty much all he um, can do and even if I switched it would hit something else so he was uh, just taking the safe play there would have killed me anyway but uh, then something happened which is bad fuck my life Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is this shit, Nick? 
So yeah, that kind of screwed us up a bit, it DC'd, but we decided let's go again, let's go for some new numbers and uh, let's go for some new pokes and see if we can get anything better than that because there was a lot a bit of, well, a bit of hacks there and they're kind of annoying. So here we go um, and we start off this game with him having a Venomoth and me having a Metagross, obviously me looking like I have the huge advantage and uh, then crap happens. Wow, this thing is going far too fast for me to speak, but um, basically I stealth rock as he subbed and then I tried to Meteor Mash which missed as he misses sleep powder so both of us are missing which um, kind of sucks but I'm gonna have to switch to something to take the sleep because I know that Metagross can wall Venomoth pretty well if it's not asleep and I want something to be sleep fodder go to my Politoed probably my most useless thing that I have which is why I go to it to sleep so he sets up an agility and he has a sub and agility I'm pretty 100% sure that he has baton pass now which is why I'm gonna go for the meteor mash and hopefully take out the sub when he switches into something else uh, I mean baton passes the agility to something else that is um, um, unfortunately, he sleep powders me again because he just broke sleep. Cl what? Wait, what the? Yeah, um, yeah, he misclicked sleep powder. So basically, what happens here is he. <laughs> this was funny. He, uh, yeah, he broke sleep claws. I was like, it's okay um, because I just told him to use. Uh, substitute while I used Stealth Rock until I woke up, and now I stayed awake. So there we go. Anyway, that was just a massive facepalm moment. We were just both being idiots. Anyway, I uh, I didn't predict the switch to a Steel type, and I went for the Meteor Mash, but got the Attack Raise, which is nice. Even though it's going to be pretty useful, useless against this Empoleon. So he surfs, which um, I can take because I'm bulky, and the Earthquake's going to take out the sub. Now it's all whether a case of he got max damage or min damage there, as whether he's going to two hit Kaomi or not. I know I have lefties. Which which means I know that I can probably take another hit. And I know I've got Earthquake, which means I'm safe against him, and I can take him out as long as he, you know, um, doesn't keep using bad moves on me. What am I saying? Like, literally, I can't even think today. So, uh, he keeps subbing up, and I'm predicting he's subbing down to a Pattaya boost, which eventually will, you know, be powerful enough to kill me. But as long as I keep taking out the subs, it's not a problem, because I just don't want Metagross to die with him having a sub up, so I'm not going to overpredict. I'm just going to keep going for Earthquake. He may want to go to a Levitator, but I guess that with the agility, and now with the special attack boost, he is uh, wanting to stay in. Added to the fact that he's now in Torrent range, so Torrent plus the special special attack boost plus stab plus surf is going to take me out so at least he did not have a sub up which was the main main thing I wanted and now you know he has the agility but um as long as I have something with priority that can take it out, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I actually decided to go to Uxie first of all, mainly because I want to take the hit and yawn him, because I have a plan. I have a plan to set up my Lucario. Now, my Lucario needs a free sword stance. And the only way it's going to get a free sword stance is if his Empoleon is left alive and asleep. So I stay in and die. I yawn him. And the reason I didn't attack him with Thunderbolt, because I did carry Thunderbolt, was because now I can bring in Lucario. He's asleep. I get a guaranteed free sword stance here. So I'm thinking I can set up here, and you know, I'm not sure what he'll have, if he'll have priority or what, but uh, he goes to this guy, and I go for the sword stance, I'm thinking, this guy is poison type, and close combat's not going to be the best on him, and I'm not sure what else he's going to do to me. I try to look up Swalot, I look up on Smogon quickly, and I see that it learns, you know, like, Earthquake, so I'm kind of fearing that. I also saw that it learned Encore, but for some reason, it did not pass my mind whatsoever that he would Encore my sword stance, and uh, yeah, that was a great, great play by him. Um, as I set up my second sword stance, he goes for the encore, and uh, that, that's brilliant because uh, I can, it's brilliant for him because I can't do anything. So uh, I switch to Moltres as he yawns me, and I'm like, ah, oh, this is really this swell. It's really starting to annoy me now because I can't do much to him, and uh, he's just yawning me. And even if I sub up here, you know, I'm just gonna fall asleep. The thing is that my Polytoad was actually asleep, so he broke sleep claws for a second time in this match, which was just hilarious like uh, I can't even believe he did that but um, at this point this is just retardation we're both face palming massively um, so uh, he yawns while I'm just waiting for myself to wake up because uh, obviously he's put me at a disadvantage with sleep claws so um, I got the free sub and I wake up and flamethrower as he yawns again um, and I actually get the burn here which is just like haxing him completely so uh, that kind of sucks for him 
So at this point, he's kind of, you know, annoyed because uh, there's just craps happened in this match. Sleep Claws has been broken twice. He's been having confusion hacks in the last game, and uh, stuff is really going not well for him. So uh, he goes to his sleeping Empoleon as fodder because he doesn't want his Swalot to die to a two hit KO, which it probably might have lived, although Burn would have probably taken him out. So he didn't really want that thing to stay in. Now, this Moltres was originally scarfed. I decided to give it sub just to make it more original, and I think that Moltres has quite, you know, it's, it works quite well with sub, I, at least that's what I found in this game. Um, Stealth Rocks wasn't up, which wasn't an issue, but uh, that was pretty good. So Miss Major sets up a Calm Mind on me. Not too much of a problem because Flamethrower is going to be a 3 hit KO guaranteed after the plus 1. So um, I know I can live a Shadow Ball from full health. Not a problem there. I know even though he has Stab, even though he has the plus 1 special attack, Miss Major's special attack is nothing really to shout about unless he has quite a few Calm Minds up. So I knew I would live it and the Flamethrower takes him out with the third one. So now it's just a case of whether he has something with priority or whether he has something to resist Moltres that can take me out. He decides to go into his uh, Swallow again. I'm thinking Flamethrower is going to take it out now, so I'm not sure if he has anything left that can take this Moltres. And I'm just constantly gaining back lefties, meaning that I have a, a greater chance to set up another substitute, which will aid me even more. So he goes out to his Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, Robin Flew Away, and I sub as he psychics me. And he was like, I encored. I was like, fuck you. And then I realized realized um, it doesn't get on course, so <laughs> that was kind of funny. So now I use my one move which I've been concealing, which is overheat, and um, the reason that I wasn't using it obviously because I had a sub up and I wouldn't want to get that special attack drop while I was set up. So I went for it there, hoping to kill it. Didn't quite, because I know that um, Chimaco does have very decent special defense, as well as a sizable HP stat, I mean for an NU in any case. So I go out to this guy who is going to ice shard what he thinks, but I go for the double hit. Now this Mouseswine, interesting story, was made back in the days when Breloom was a big, big threat Threat, still is a big threat, but it was even bigger back then. And it's banded and it has double hit because double hit takes out sub and focus punch. So I switched to um, this guy because uh, I want something to die, but he fire blasts and misses, which is kind of pointless in any case, as he switches back to Venomoth. And I'm thinking he only has these two guys left. Now, it's all a case of whether he's able to set up a sub, get the agility off, and get a baton pass off to his Flygon, because that's pretty much what is going to happen. The only thing he doesn't realise is that I still have Lucario, who has extreme speed, and I still have my Mamoswine with Ice Shard, so even if he does manage to kill my Politoed, and manage to baton pass, and manage to set up a sub, agility, and go to Flygon, it will all be in vain, because um, even if my Polito goes down, I would bring in my Lucario to extreme speed his sub away, then bring in Mamoswine to go for the Ice Shard on the Flygon, which would one-hit KO it, because I have the Choice Band, and then Venomoth, of course, with its low HP right now, would die to an Ice Shard regardless from a banded Mamoswine. So uh, he's sitting here thinking, I'm getting hacked over here, and it really sucks. Um, and Anyway, I do hack him over with the Politoed, um, eventually goes out to his Flygon, which I think uses Earthquake, and he just prays for a crit here, but in the end wouldn't have mattered because I've got Bannered Mar Mar Mamoswine with Ice Shard, um, and it doesn't quite take me out as I finish him off with an Ice Beam, so that was a pretty, pretty cool match there, Nick, not going to lie, I enjoyed the roulettes that we have, and uh, we have another one which is from a while back, maybe a month and a half or so ago, so if you want to check that out, go check it out. Um, otherwise, uh, I am going to try and record as much stuff as I can while I'm here. Um, the LP stuff's kind of slowing down because of uni and stuff going on, so that's why that's not been updated too much recently. Uh, and in other news, uh, PMP, Beginner's Guide, I haven't had much time to get around to that either, so that's going to be updated eventually as soon as I get some time. But um, keep watching, guys. I'm definitely going to try and bring more frequent matches uh, matches as long as I can record some at home now uh, uh, it means that I can upload more during term time so um, I guess that that's all I have to say for the current time so uh, comment rate subscribe I will see all you guys very very soon with another narrated battle um, which should be quite interesting if I say so myself so goodbye children good night